Imagine standing on the brink of an ancient world, a world dominated by colossal creatures, where giants roamed and every step sent tremors through the earth. Now picture a dinosaur, not a towering long-necked sauropod, but a different kind of behemoth, a non-sauropod that challenges our very notion of prehistoric enormity. Prepare to be astounded as we unlock the secrets of Shantongosaurus, a colossal herbivore that defies all expectations. Its size, its incredible adaptations, and its place in the prehistoric hierarchy will leave you awestruck. Shantongosaurus lived up to its name, being a genuinely enormous dinosaur. Imagine a four-story tall monster that lived during the late Cretaceous era of Earth's history. This species adults might grow to be as long as 50 to 55 feet in length, and the biggest ones could weigh up to 15 to 20 tons. That is about the weight of two mature African elephants. To put things into perspective, Shantungosaurus's skeletal characteristics were similarly remarkable. It was able to reach plants high up in trees because to its long neck, which resembled that of a giraffe, and its large bulk was supported by its strong elephantine legs. Imagine a dinosaur with a powerful, durable foundation to support its massive size and a long, elegant tail to balance its weight. Its unique skeletal characteristics included strong leg bones to sustain its enormous weight and a sturdy ribcage to assist preserve its important organs. For example, the leg bones were designed to bear the strains of walking and grazing. They resembled pillars supporting a large building. An intriguing tooth arrangement was constructed for the herbivorous diet of Shantungosaurus. Rather of having sharp teeth for ripping meat, it had hundreds of closely spaced, grinding teeth, much like those seen on contemporary herbivores like cows. These teeth were ideal for breaking down thick, fibrous materials, similar to how cows use their molars to break down hay. Shantungosaurus was able to effectively take nutrients from the plants it ate because to its adaption. It used a kind of fermentation in its multi-chambered stomach, much as cows do to break down the plant material and extract nutrients. Because of this, the dinosaur was well suited for a diet that was mostly composed of plant matter, demonstrating the amazing ways that nature gives animals the tools they need to flourish in their specific ecological niches. A dinosaur known as Shantongosaurus formerly inhabited a particular area of our primordial Earth. Imagine going back in time to around 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous era. Imagine a huge region of what is now modern-day China. Shantungosaurus lived in this area. Its range and geographic distribution were mostly concentrated in China's Shandong province, which is close to the Shandong Peninsula. Rich marshes, rivers, and an abundance of flora characterize this area, providing these enormous herbivores with a perfect environment. The Shandong area had a rich and varied ecology, which was home to Shantungosaurus. Imagine a landscape full with various ancient species, in addition to enormous dinosaurs. Alongside ferocious predators like tyrannosaurs, you would encounter lesser herbivores like hadrosaurs. The terrain was made up of thick woods, meandering rivers, and vast floodplains. The dinosaurs of that era had a plenty of food and shelter to be found in these wetlands and woodlands. These areas' abundant foliage provided food for the herbivorous Shantungosaurus. In this ancient ecology, they would have coexisted with other herbivorous and omnivorous dinosaurs, forming a complex web of relationships. Imagine yourself in the late Cretaceous and the weather that Shantungosaurus would have experienced. It was a period of tropical or subtropical climate with comparatively warm temperatures. The area went through different seasons, much as we do now. But compared to today, the weather was often warmer and more humid. The development of rich vegetation, including towering coniferous trees, ferns, and floral plants, was facilitated by the warm and humid atmosphere. The rivers and marshes provide vital water supplies. While the trees offered safety and shade, Shantungosaurus and the other dinosaurs evolved to survive in this lush, old planet. Paleontologists and fans alike are still in awe of this ancient monster, whose legacy challenges our comprehension of Earth's most massive beasts. If you found this video of Shantungosaurus as awe-inspiring as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating adventures into the world of paleontology. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below and let us know which ancient marvel you'd like us to uncover next.